Another big name pastor coming out in full support of the Corona jab after initially not supporting it. In fact, pointing to Jesus as the miracle worker, the healer. We're talking about Pastor John Hadji. We're going to get into all the details, guys. Off the top, I mentioned to you, I'm now on Rumble. Go subscribe to me there, the link down below. As quick as you can, it's going to be our backup because we were recently demonetized here on the channel. Lost all of our revenue. We could lose the YouTube channel at any point as well. Because we lost our revenue, we need your help now more than ever to help support our ministry. A couple of different ways you could do that. One is through PayPal, the link down below. You could sign up for either a one-time or monthly donation. You could also sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. That link down below. There you'll get access to all my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information, as well as the links to the YouTube videos are going up there as well because YouTube will not always alert you for when new content comes out. Patreon will do that. It's a great way to make sure you don't miss anything. I highly recommend it. All that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Let's talk about Pastor John Hadji. Let's, let's rewind a little bit back to November of 2020 because it was then that Pastor Hadji actually came down with the corona. He was in, in the hospital. I mean, this is an old man here, okay? He ended up having double pneumonia. It wasn't looking good for him. He gave a great testimony in church. If you didn't see that, I'm going to put that link in the description. You guys can watch it for yourself when he finally made his way back to the Cornerstone Church there in San Antonio. And he talked about how just he had an excellent team of medical professionals that were taking care of it the whole time. And he gave God all the glory. And he said that, well, Jesus was truly the jab. And we're going to call it the jab. And you know why we're going to call it the jab, okay? But he says Jesus was the jab. Gave all credit to him, thanking the medical professionals. But now here we go months later, and we're getting word now, according to a spokesperson for Hadji's ministry, that the pastor is now not only supporting Christians getting the jab, but he is also taking the jab himself. Well, wait a minute. What happened to all that faith talk? That Jesus was the true jab. That Jesus was the healer. All of a sudden now, the spokesman coming out and saying that, well, Pastor Hadji believes in both the power of medicine and prayer. But is the jab, is it really medicine? Is it? I'm just proposing the question to you guys. You could chime in down below and let me know what you think about that. But is this misleading to not only his church, but other Christians as well? Why the flip-flop? Now, I talked about Franklin Graham last week on a previous video. Some of you may have caught it. If not, I encourage you to go back and watch because he too came out and not only wants Christians to take the jab, said that Jesus himself would be walking around with the jabs himself, getting ready to administer them, even though Jesus is the healer and wouldn't need to use anything like that. But he also wanted clergy to be focusing on promoting this from the pulpits in their congregations. Forget about leading the lost to Christ. No, 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 that's not important enough. No, no, we don't need to worry about that. It's not like we're in the last days or anything. No, let's just talk about people going to get the jab and talk about all the nice little churches around town that are actually becoming nice little jab sites for people to go to. These are pastors that are falling. They're caving to pressure. You have to be aware of them. Now, I don't know if perhaps somebody got into John Hadgey's head, started telling him things, and, 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 you know, maybe convinced him he is in his older age. I don't know. But the fact that he's got someone coming out now, speaking for him, saying that he's now going to take it, and he's now saying that other Christians should do the same. This is ludicrous. This is absolutely ludicrous to hear these faith leaders come out and do this. People need to be wise of the times that we're in right now because there is such a spirit of deception in the land right now that is really going after the church. People could once look at the church as a safe place to be. You can't just walk into any church now and just think that, oh, this is going to truly be a, a place where I can trust the pastors, the leadership team, the ministers, everybody. You really got to do your research on these churches before you step into them. Now, I got to give credit here to Pastor Tony Spell of Life Tabernacle Church there in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, because of the fact that this man, everything that he has been through in the past year with trying to get his church shut down, all of the, the you know the court orders against him. At one point, he was you know wearing an ankle bracelet because he was on house arrest. He himself stated that he will not promote the jab. He does not want his church to get it. He says he will not get it. And he actually said 
And thank God for a pastor that's willing to say this. He's willing to stand before God on the day of judgment and give an account for everything that he did as a pastor, right and wrong. How many pastors do you hear saying that? They are willing to be held accountable. God bless this man for being a man of righteousness. It's so encouraging to see that. It's refreshing. And you don't see many of them out there anymore. And the big names that you thought that maybe would be firm on this and maybe stand for truth are now falling to the wayside. But the Bible predicted this was happening, didn't it? And it brings me to this. As part of our ministry, we are trying to get as many people to Jesus as we possibly can. Unlike Franklin Graham and John Hadji. I'm not going to use the platform that I have here on this channel that I've been so blessed to have and hopefully continue to have. I'm not going to be using it to tell you guys to go out and get a jab. I want to use it to help bring people to Christ because that's what's most important right now. So if you're watching this now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is the day of salvation. We always used to say in church, today is the day of salvation. Not tomorrow, not in a week, not in a month, not in a year, today, right now. Right where you are, wherever you are right now watching this, today is the day of salvation for you. How do you do that? Start by you recognize that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all of the world. And then you repent of your sins. Now, important to know here, repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to actually turn from a lifestyle or habit, whatever it is in your life, that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he will wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. Then you invite Jesus into your life, be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, saved. You will have eternal life in heaven. There is no greater decision you're ever going to make while you're here on this earth than the decision you make to give your life to Christ. So I pray you make that decision today. Guys, let me know your thoughts here on Pastor John Hadji. Flip-flopping, changing his mind here on the jab. What do you think? You going to listen to him or no? Again, the links to donate can be found down below as well. It is a great blessing to us. And the link to my Rumble page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.